So you're pregnant. Congratulations. Hey, me too. <laughs> You're so excited because you're at your ultrasound appointment and you're going to get to see your baby on screen. Oh, so cute. But then you hear these dreaded words. Your baby is breech. Say what? Mm -mm. No. Well, that's exactly what happened to me. And today I'm going to share with you the seven tips that I used to turn my baby from breech to head down in one day. That's right, one day and it was confirmed by a second ultrasound. Stick around. Hey, it's Tamatha Lene, indie artist, songwriter, producer, wife, and soon to be mom. Still can't believe it. And this channel is all about bringing you the best DIY tips and tools for music, beauty, health, and wellness. So stick around. Hopefully you'll learn something new. And if you do, please do subscribe and click that like button. Okay, so let's just dive right in. So a couple weeks ago, I went in for my 32-week ultrasound appointment. And I was really excited because I actually live in Los Angeles, but I'm here in my hometown of Minneapolis um, because I am a singer, songwriter, performer. And I was brought in to be a part of Sister Act the Musical. Yes, even at eight and a half months pregnant, when I first came, I was only seven months pregnant, but I can still dance and sing and act. Um, and I'm in a nun habit most of the time, y'all. So, you know, it's all good. <laughs> but anyway, I'm here for that. So since I'm here in my hometown, Minneapolis, my parents are here. I'm actually staying with them while I'm here. And I was excited because they get to come to the ultrasound appointment with me and see the baby. We walk into the appointment, we're all happy. You know, everything's checking out good. As she starts the ultrasound, great. You see the baby's heartbeat. But then I heard those words. Your baby is breech. What? I had had two previous ultrasounds earlier on in my pregnancy and my baby was always head down. So this really surprised me and concerned me because when I think breech, I automatically think, C-section and ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, I'm trying to get back up and perform very quickly after my pregnancy. <laughs> so um, I was concerned, um, but obviously I want what's best for the baby. So I immediately started thinking in my mind, since I like to try to do natural things, um, I started thinking, okay, what are some tips that I've seen? So tip number one, yoga ball. On the yoga ball, there's these exercises that you can do to open up your pelvis. So I was like, okay, I don't have a yoga ball here in Minneapolis with me. So as soon as we left, I'm like, hey, mom and dad, can we go by Walmart and pick me up a yoga ball, please? I got a yoga ball. Wait, let me show you. Where is it? Ooh, okay, one second. <laughs> okay, we went by Walmart ooh, and got a yoga ball, $7.98. This here, I don't know if you all can see that, but 798 Athletic Works Yoga Ball. So you're basically moving in a circular motion on the ball with your legs open, and you're just trying to encourage the baby to kind of turn and flip. You don't want to do too much up here, you know. <laughs> you know, the snake movements, but you want that down in your hips. And you're just doing, so you do 10 times in one direction, 10 times in the other direction. Do it three times a day. Um, um, just 10 each side, each rotation to the right, then rotation to the left. But I just kind of sat on the ball and just did my work from the ball. If I was editing music or, um, you know, answering emails, whatever I was doing, I was just doing it on the ball. Plus, this thing is so comfortable. Like, when I sat on it, it just relieved all the pressure that my belly is putting on my spine and it just it just took a lot of the pressure away so that's tip number one yoga ball exercises also good for your back relieves pain and strain tip number two to flip your baby ice pack you put a nice little ice pack up where the head is if the head you know if it's breached and the head is up kind of by the belly button probably or just up in your upper abdomen so you put an ice pack there and then a warm pack down below where you want the baby to go so you're basically causing a little discomfort for baby just a little bit of discomfort for baby so that the baby will actually flip just make sure that you have something between the ice and and 
your skin so that um, you know you're not damaging your skin but I just I just put the ice pack like over a t-shirt you know that's what I did and I had it wrapped in a paper towel but I put an ice pack up there where I could feel the hardness of the baby's head and then I put heating pad I put that down underneath my abdomen and that really helped uh, I think that really helped flip the baby because I felt her kind of start moving so tip number three is essential oils frankincense and peppermint I got this tip from my good friend and mentor Gwen shout out to Gwen thank you hold on y'all hold on hold on <laughs> I gotta go through my purse I carry these oils around with me I tell you frankincense and peppermint you all see that but it's doTERRA brand essential oils I'll put a link down below I actually um, get these oils wholesale from doTERRA and so I actually have a website with doTERRA where you can get the oils. So I'll link that below because if you want these, you can get them through my website. Um, but I love them. They work so well. The peppermint is really good if I have headaches or back pain. or I, I use the peppermint all the time. I'm like on my second bottle in like less than a month. You're supposed to put the frankincense and peppermint up where the baby's head is. For some reason, even though I love both of those, babies don't like the smell of that, so it said. Don't put it down below because we want the baby to go there, but since the baby doesn't like that smell, put the peppermint and frankincense up by where the baby's head is and that should help to flip the baby. Tip number four, inverted hip raise. Okay, so this one you want to make sure that you do not eat or drink anything. Um, too close to when you're doing this because we already have this whole heartburn acid reflux situation because our digestive system is being pushed on by the baby well this just adds to that because you're actually raising your hips up just stacked up a lot of pillows and blankets and then I lifted my hips up so you want to be at an incline like this and your head is like this you know it's really uncomfortable and obviously you don't want to have eaten a lot because that's going to push back up and cause acid reflux which we already struggle with so this is a good one because I guess what they say it does is puts pressure on the baby's head is uncomfortable the baby's you know face that way so when you put pressure that way it wants to turn um, and get the pressure off of its head. So that is tip number four. Okay, tip number five, I like to call light at the end of the tunnel. And yes, don't we want that ladies, especially in our third trimester. You're supposed to use a flashlight, you see, <laughs> and actually put it down underneath your belly. So this would be down, you put it down where you want the baby's head to go. You want the baby head down. So you put the light, you just put the light literally up against your skin down there. And the baby, at, you know, at this stage can really sense light and sound and things like that. So the baby will tend to instinctually turn towards the light. Don't you wish we all would do that in life metaphorically? This is a nice, easy tip, not super uncomfortable, like the ice pack and the inverted. It's just kind of nice. So I would just sit and do work like this, you know, while I was um, editing music or, or songwriting or whatever I was doing. I would just literally just have the light down there. The light was down there. You want it like this, just down at the bottom of your belly. And um, I would just sit like that, you know, just for 20 minutes or so to encourage the baby to come down. Tip number six. Now, ladies, you know, we like to be ladylike and sit with our legs crossed and all that. I, I do that. I was raised right, you know. But now we have permission to basically sit like a trucker, okay? <laughs> we want to give the baby space. So when I say sit like a trucker, it's like open your... Um, basically open your legs and, and allow your pelvis to be open. So it's kind of a nice little open space for the your belly to, to lean when you lean forward and um, it just gives the baby room so a lot of times you know we might still be trying to cross our legs but I can really feel when I try to cross my legs I can actually feel the pressure of um, that I'm closing that area there for the baby so um, it starts to really uh, you want this lower pelvis area to be open so just sit with your legs open and as much as you can kind of lean forward still giving your body support uh, your core support but just sit like a trucker keep your legs open create space for the baby you want to create space for the baby and the way that we do that is by widening our legs 
keeping them open while we're sitting instead of trying to sit cross-legged and things like that that cause that area there to be constricted and there's less room for the baby to move around and flip, which is what we want. And my final tip, tip number seven, don't hunch, have good posture, sit upright, give your baby room. A lot of times it's real easy when you're on the couch and you're just relaxing to kind of sit back slumped. Um, and just in general, you know, we tend to have bad posture. Some of us don't. I admire y'all who don't, but I know that I do and I have to be very intentional about sitting upright. So you really, and it's good to do anyway, especially with your pregnancy to try to engage your core and um, just to really try to support yourself. But with, if your baby is breech, you really don't want to be hunched over and then with your legs together, all those different things, you don't want that because the baby doesn't have room to move, so it's going to stay in that position. You want to create as much space in your room, in there, in the uterus, for the baby to feel like they have room to move. Make it feel like, hey, this is your playground, girl. Just get right. Turn your head down. Turn your head down. So just... I'll try all these tips. They worked for me. I did them. I could feel the baby moving when I would give her space, like when I would just kind of sit like this and lean forward or when I would be doing my pelvic movements. Oh, right now I'm doing it. She's moving. <laughs> but stay head down. So those are the seven things that I did to turn my baby head down in one day, literally one day. I hope this was helpful for you. Please let me know if you tried these tips and if they worked, please leave a comment and let me know. It's important to me to have as healthy a pregnancy as possible and it's important to me that you also have a healthy pregnancy. So if you have any tips on how to turn um, a baby head down or if you have done that, if you've done it, what have you done? Just share with us so we can go from seven tips to 10 to 20. But anyway, hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for taking time out to visit my channel. Please do like and subscribe if this helped you. And check out the other videos. I have a lot of different things. Like I said, this is all about um, the things in my that make up my world. And as an entertainer and as a singer and a producer and an artist and all those different things that I do in entertainment, health and wellness is a big part and beauty, a big part of my world because you gotta look right and you gotta feel right to be able to be creative. So that's why this channel is all about bringing you the best tips and tools DIY style in music, health, wellness, and beauty. So take care and God bless.